Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're making Halloween bark and this was an absolute nightmare because candy melts are not my friend. I first tried heating them in the microwave in a glass container but they seized. I then heated them over the stovetop in a metal bowl and again they seized. I wanted to cry by this stage but we pushed ahead. Ended up adding some gel dye just to try and get a colour and I still tried to make it into bark. Um, it was really difficult to work with, much more difficult than using chocolate. Uh, you'll actually see later on when I did change to chocolate, it was so much easier to work with. Anyway, let's ignore this nightmare and move on to the actual Halloween bark. So for each layer we're going to use white chocolate. For the first two layers we're going to use 150 grams and then for the third layer where we're using some decoration we're going to use 100 grams. So for the first layer I wanted a dark colour, hopefully a black or a blue, but that didn't really work with the dyes that I had. So I used a purple gel to make it a dark purple. I laid it out on the tray and let it cool in the fridge for about 20 minutes to 2 hours. The next layer of chocolate I melted in the microwave as the other layer was cooling. Uh, it took about 30 second bursts and then a couple of 5 to 10 second bursts to get it fully melted. I wanted this layer to be a nice lime green, uh, but as with the other layer as well, you can use whatever colour you feel is appropriate for Halloween. Make it as spoopy as you want it. We are now going to cover the first layer with the second layer of chocolate. Um, and we are not going to do what I did and accidentally crack the bottom layer. <laughs> Once you have finished covering it, put it back in the fridge to cool. Or you can start covering it in some decorations whilst it's still pliable. Now it's time to decorate. I am using white chocolate with a little bit of white dye in it uh, just to make it a little bit brighter. But you can use whatever you want, uh, decorate to your heart's content. Once you've finished decorating, pop it back into the fridge to let it cool and set and then you can do the fun thing of breaking it. Now if you want your bark to be broken in a specific way, use a knife so you can at least guide the breaks. Or you can do what I'm going to do next, which is uh, pick it up and drop it, which is very satisfying. Very, very satisfying. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, subscribe to the channel or give us a like. Thanks for watching.